welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna be showing you all how I created this makeup look right here and we're actually using the new morphe and coca-cola collection so here's what the box of the palette looks like it is so cool this is such a cool collection I also picked up one of the loose highlighters as well as the lip gloss set so in today's video, we're going to be doing this entire makeup look using all this stuff. The only thing that I did not use is the highlighter today. And honestly, you guys, it's simply because this highlighter is way too dark for my skin tone. I didn't even realize, and I don't know how, but I didn't realize that they had three different colors. I thought there was only two different colors. So there's a shade after this one. And this is like the middle color, but there is a lighter color, which I did order on Ulta. It is coming soon. It just has not come yet. Um, so I did have to skip out on using this today so I'm sorry that I'm not gonna be able to use the highlighter but from just looking at it it's a beautiful color I'm actually gonna keep it and use it like as a eyeshadow if that makes sense um, but I can't wait to try the other one that's gonna match my skin tone because just by looking at it you guys it looks like an amazing formula here's what the eyeshadow palette looks like it is actually really pretty and of course I had to play with the reds in here because I feel like when everyone saw this palette they were just so excited for the reds just like I was so I was like you know what let me definitely do a look with the red eyeshadow in here today so in today's video, I decided to create this makeup look right here with it. I feel like it's really pretty, really sultry. The skin looks really beautiful. And of course, as always, I had a lot of fun creating it. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look right here, then just keep on watching. <music> Okay, you guys, so to start today's look, I'm first going to start by probing my eyes. This is the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number 2. This is the only thing, okay, that I've used to prep my eyes for eyeshadow. It is amazing. It also cancels out any discoloration on the lids or any veins or anything like that. And I do put on a decent amount because I like it to cover the entire lid, but also I like to drag it all the way out to the tail of my eyebrow because I just want to make sure I have everything covered, you know? So I'm actually blending this out with the Morphe M173 brush. You guys, I love this brush. It's freaking amazing. And I do not set this with a powder. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. So moving into the palette, this is the Coca-Cola M morphe palette you guys this palette is so beautiful it's even more beautiful in person than it is on camera and even in photos it's actually very beautiful so i'm gonna be taking that red eyeshadow and how i like to do my eyeshadow is i like to pack on as much pigment as i can get out of the eyeshadow and keep in mind the p louise base is still tacky so i'm not working in windshield wiper motions i'm working in packing tapping motions right now my only concern is getting that pigment there so once I finally got to the intensity that I wanted, now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M514 brush. It's a super tiny blending brush, and as always, I like to have my brush half on that harsh line and half on that bare skin towards my brow, and I work in little tiny sections and in circular motions. This is actually going to help to blend out that shadow, and you guys, I didn't use any other shadow to blend this out. This is just doing this method, which is amazing. So I did really like doing this. Um, it really does make your eyeshadow look beautiful. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to go back in with another blending brush and just go ahead and pack on that red one more time because with all the blending, it kind of got diffused a little bit. So I just wanted to make sure it looked nice and intense. So that's what I'm doing there. Take your time, girl. Like I said, it's all about the pigment. So really build it up. Then I'm going to go in with that darker brown and the lighter brown as well. I'm going to mix the two together. Um, I was just honestly being lazy, so I just mixed them. And I'm taking this on another small pointed blending brush because I want to be very, very precise with this color because I I do not want to overpower the red if that makes sense this is just going to give me the definition that I want in the actual socket of my eye so I'm really taking my time with this you guys because I do not want it to go above that crease or above that eye socket because we don't want to do that but as you guys can see I really did build up that pigment I applied this eyeshadow maybe five or six times to make sure you can really really see it I wanted this eye look to be super intense very shocking and girl I love it so I went back in with that small blending brush just to make sure everything was nice and blended and then I did this kind of backwards now I'm gonna actually do my brow bone highlight so I went in with that cream color and I just popped this right on my brow bone I usually do this last but I just realized editing that I did it 
before like it's weird but whatever we're gonna go with this so now we're gonna work on the crease so what I've been doing lately is taking some makeup remover and a couple of q-tips and basically what I do is just soak the q-tip in the makeup remover and then I wipe off any of that excess shadow where I'm planning to cut my crease so what I do want to tell you guys is you're going to definitely need a couple of Q-tips to do this method because once the Q-tip gets dirty, you do not want to keep rubbing it across your lid because you're literally just going to distribute all of that eyeshadow back onto your lids. I've really been loving this method. I feel like you truly see a difference when you actually do this method, especially with super intense colors like this. So now I'm going to go in with my P. Louise and Mitchell Base and Blank Canvas. Nothing new, nothing surprising. And you guys, honestly, it's like coloring in a coloring book at this point because you already have that line that you created with the q-tip so you're literally just filling in that cut crease and that's it it makes it so so easy like you do not have to map out your cut crease with your product no girl it's already there you literally just have to fill in the space so I really love this method I definitely recommend you guys try it if you're struggling with the cut crease because I think you will really really enjoy it and quickly I just wanted to mention that I do cut my crease higher than where my crease actually is so I would say in the socket of my eye if you guys have hooded eyes like I do so once I go ahead and apply that base I am going to pat it out because this base does crease and it is very thick so I don't I want to make sure I have a super super thin layer if that makes sense so moving on we're gonna go back in with that cream shade this is the same shade that I use to go ahead and put on my brow bone and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid so I started off with the bigger shadow brush just to get that bigger range of space and then I moved on to a smaller brush when I was ready to get closer to the crease because you do not want to get this color into the crease I definitely didn't after all that hard work so this is a little tip and then I'm gonna go back in with that red eyeshadow and the brush that I'm using here is a newer brush to me this is from the brand called Poise, and this is their cookie dough brush. You guys, I've already went on their website and ordered five more. That is how much I love this brush. I love super detailed tiny blending brushes. They make a huge difference with your eye makeup. So I went in with that super bright red and just put it on the outer corner. And what I like to do is kind of blend it towards the lash line, kind of like fade it in if that makes sense. And then I'm going to go back in with that dark brown. And I also took a little bit of the light brown as well. And I'm going to put that right on the outer corner. This is just going to help to connect the crease with the outer corner and make everything look nice and cohesive. Very blended, very beautiful. And it really just pulls the entire look together. So I'm going to go on with the Benefit Roller Liner. This one is in black. And what I'm going to actually do with this is actually just basically run it against my lashes. So I'm not doing a wing liner at all. But the easiest way I found to do this is to just press the eyeliner against your lash line and then drag it. And then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Demolition. It's a beautiful deep brown. And I'm just going to run that right against that black. Because um, I didn't want it to be too, too harsh. But I wanted to get a a little bit of definition so now I needed a black eyeshadow so I went in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I'm gonna be taking that black eyeshadow in her palette with a flat definer brush and I'm gonna rub that all against that eyeliner you guys to kind of smudge it because I wanted that smoky look and by the way you guys that was the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 so once I do that the look is basically complete on the top so I'm gonna go in with my KKW Beauty mascara which is my all-time favorite at the moment you guys know this it is such an amazing mascara it is so worth the price and I love it I already have some backups in my collection because it is so bomb and then of course I'm gonna pop on some lashes these are from a brand called the bomb lash extensions I've been talking about them so much. They're so amazing. And I will leave the style down below in the description box. And girl, that's basically it for the top of the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and just press these down, make sure they are in place. And we're going to move on to the face makeup. And that part is going to be a talk through. Okay, guys. So for the face part of the makeup, I decided let's jump into a talk through because why not? I mean, I look crazy, but it's okay because in the intro, we're going to look cute. So this is what we're working with. I have nothing on my face, obviously. And quickly, I wanted to just mention what I'm wearing on my lips because I have been obsessed, you guys. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is what it looks like right here. Oh my God, you guys, this thing is amazing. So amazing that it's been competing yes girl competing with my Laneige sleeping mask which you guys know that is a holy grail but this guys like can you see how much I've used already I'm actually about to make a Sephora order right after this video because I got a ton of Sephora gift cards for my birthday so this 
is definitely gonna be in my cart. I'm definitely buying another one of these, so I quickly wanted to mention it to you guys what I had on my lips. So we're gonna move on to primer. So I've actually been liking this primer a lot. I just actually used it in one of my recent videos. If that video is up already, I'll go ahead and link that video down below. This is the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. And I actually really, really like this. And I didn't think I was gonna love it, but you guys, I, I like this a lot. So here's what the consistency looks like if you guys have not seen it already. And it's more of like a thicker cream to be honest. I've actually never used anything like this. So the last time that I actually used this, when I used it in a first impression video, I used way too much. And like I said, the only thing I don't like about this is the smell. I just like can't get over the fact that this smells like a doctor's office. Don't mind my face getting so red. My face is so sensitive that even putting on a primer, it gets super, super red. So don't mind that but that is primer now we can move on to foundation so for foundation i'm going to be using the uma beauty this is the say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation i also used this in a recent video and you guys i really really enjoyed it it's a really beautiful foundation the coverage is amazing it's just all around a really really great foundation so i did notice when i used it for the first time that when i pumped it out like it was just pure water so i'm definitely going to shake this up really well just to make sure that, that doesn't happen again and as you guys can see my skin is not perfect at the moment i have a breakout right here i also have one right here those are just girl hormonal breakouts because it's about to be that time of the month so you know what it is what it is we can't be perfect all the time so I'm gonna go ahead and just pump a little bit out and now let's just pump it on my finger and then just kind of like put it on my face if that makes sense and this color was dark for me the first time that I used it but I think today it'll be fine because I did get some color okay so to go ahead and blend this out I'm gonna be using the elf total face sponge I love this sponge it is amazing it's super super bomb if you guys come across it whether you're in Ulta walmart target definitely pick one up i think you guys would really enjoy it and also if you're in walmart you guys definitely definitely look for the wet and wild sponge the packaging it's like in a little plastic box packaging and it has a little bunny on it definitely check it out it is life changing you guys those are my two favorite drugstore sponges but for today i'm going to be using the elf one and i'm honestly just going to start to blend this out and this foundation blends so easily you guys so this is not going to take a while by the way you guys let me know how the lighting in today's video looks this is the first video that i'm filming with new lighting not really new lighting but more lighting if that makes sense i felt like my videos looked great no problem like it was fine the way it was but I felt like it could be a little bit better, if that makes sense. So I do have additional lighting right now. So right now I have three lights on me, plus the light that comes from the mirror that's in front of me. So let me know what you guys think about the lighting. Because, um, honey, it was a pretty penny. So let me know what you guys think. That way I can know if I should change anything around. Let me know how the picture looks, how the lighting looks. Um... Because, you know, I'm trying to figure out what works for me. Okay, guys, so here's what the foundation looks like. It's a really beautiful foundation. It is super full coverage, and it looks really nice on the skin. Um, even though it says it's a soft matte finish, it does give you kind of like a glow to the skin. I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera, but I've really been enjoying it. So we're going to move on to a little bit of cream bronzing. I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. I've been obsessed with this. And this one is in the shade Baked. And I'm going to be using it on the Luxe dual fiber brush this is their 516 brush and it just looks like this okay so that's all I'm gonna do as far as cream bronzing and now let's move on to concealer I'm gonna be using the hourglass vanish concealer today this is one of my favorites as well this one is in the shade cedar and this is what it looks like right here it is such an amazing amazing full coverage concealer you guys I love it and it's not super thick it's just like the perfect consistency it's amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and use this right on my under eyes and you don't need much of it so I'm gonna put about that much I'm like you don't need much of it, it puts on a ton but this is actually less than what I would usually put on for concealers so yeah 
I'm going to put a little bit on my nose, my chin, and I'm going to pop a little bit on my forehead as well. And really quickly, as always, I'm going to tell you guys what powder I'm going to be using because I like to blend on my concealer and put my powder immediately because I crease like crazy. So I'm going to be using my Collab Powder. This is the Set the Sage Soft Focus Translucent Powder and specifically the one with the white cap. You guys, they do have a translucent powder that comes with a black cap. That one is not as good as this one. So definitely, if you guys are going to try this, definitely pick up this one, the one with the white cap. And I do get mine at Sally's if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and blend out this concealer and set with powder. So my under eyes are set. So we're going to set the rest of my face. I'm going to use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This one is in the shade Light. And this is what it looks like right here. You guys have seen me use this many, many times because it is so amazing. So I'm going to set everything except that cream bronzer that we applied because I'm going to set that with an actual bronzing powder. I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. I have been loving this, you guys. It is the perfect shade for a bronzer. It's just beautiful. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like because then you'll be able to see how beautiful it really is. And I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe JH02 brush. I know you guys are probably like, how the heck, girl? Do you apply a bronzer with a brush that huge and honestly it really does diffuse the bronzer really beautifully so let me show you how so I always tap off the excess and basically what I like to do is because I already have a cream on there I don't want to go in and just start rubbing like this because obviously you're gonna move the product all around so what I like to do is actually just press the brush like this almost like small tapping motion it's not only going to help set that cream but it's going to give you a really beautiful bronze without it looking super harsh if that makes sense oh my gosh you guys honestly having more lights in here is making it so much hotter in here like i'm sweating like i don't know how this makeup is even staying on right now because it is so hot in here I put a little bit of bronzer on my nose nothing crazy I actually hate bronzing my nose because I don't know how to do it the right way, but as long as it doesn't stand out and it doesn't look completely white, then I'm okay with that. I'm not even stressing it, to be honest. That's perfect. So, moving on to blush, of course. I'm going to be trying out this Pro Fusion blush. This is the number 3 palette. This is what the palette looks like right here. It is really, really beautiful, you guys. And I did a huge, huge... Actually, for a couple of days, I was doing huge hauls on Instagram. So, definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not following me because, girl, you're missing out. So, here's what the blush palette looks like right here. You guys, it is so beautiful. I've been on a Pro Fusion kick, you guys. Honestly, Walmart it's obviously an essential location so like every time I was going there to get groceries I would just wander in the makeup section and like buy a ton of makeup at the same time so I'm gonna be using this today I think I'm gonna be mixing the shades bliss and actually yeah I'm gonna be mixing the shade chic and splendid which is this shade right here so these two colors right here I'm gonna mix together because the eyes are so bold today I want to kind of keep the blush very minimal and I'm going to just be using the Morphe E4 brush. It's just an angled brush. And let's see. I've never tried any blushes from Profusion. Um, they do have quite a bit of kickback, if you guys can see on there. But you guys, these palettes are super affordable. I think it's like $5 for this blush palette or maybe $8. Girl, it's... I do not even worry about the kick up. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap this off. Apply it to my cheeks. It's really pretty. It's like a nice peachy blush. The formula is nice. It's going on really, really nicely. Very even. It's not patchy. It's very pretty. For highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Hard Candy. This is the Just Glow Baked Highlighting Trio. I also picked this up from Walmart a little while ago. This one is in the shade Meet Me in Tahiti. 
and this is what it looks like right here it was so beautiful when I saw it I was like wow like I've never tried anything from hard candy to be honest when I was young my mom actually had a few like lipsticks from hard candy but it was never a brand that anybody talked about and this seemed really really beautiful so I was like let me try it and you guys it comes with a really nice brush look at the brush in here it's actually really, really cute. It's not like a flimsy brush that you would want to throw out. So I'm actually going to use the brush today. You guys know I've been using more of like a blending brush for eyeshadow, but I want to try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right over here, which is that middle color. I want to just show you guys the palette up close. It is so beautiful and super, super reflective in person. So I'm going to be using that shade today. I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. Okay, it's pretty. It's not like, oh my god, a blinding glow, but it is very, very pretty. It's perfect with today's look. I'm pretty sure you can build this up, so let's just try to build it up a little bit. So there's the highlighter. You guys can definitely see it right here on the cheekbone. It's more of like a soft glow, which I don't mind. So I'm going to just apply some up here, right above my brow bone. And girl, honestly, I'm going ham in here. Like, I'm really rubbing that brush in here, and it's not too overpowering not too pigmented and as you guys can see the more I'm applying it's definitely buildable okay so really quickly before we jump into the lower lash line I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some setting spray just to kind of set down all the powder that I have on I'm gonna use the pixie glow mist this is what it looks like right here and it looks really really nice the only thing I will say is even though the mist is a fine mist it still spits out a couple of like bigger droplets um, like you can see one right, like you guys can see one right there on my cheek, which is fine, but I'm just saying in case you guys wanted to know. But it really does it give your skin a really beautiful glow. So this is what the skin is looking like. I'm pretty happy with everything that I tried. So we're going to go ahead and move back into the lower lash line so we can go ahead and finish up today's look. Okay, so now that the face makeup is complete, let's move back into the eyes. So I'm going to be taking that same demolition pencil from Urban Decay, and I'm going to put this in my waterline. I could have did black, but I didn't want it to be too, too intense, so I felt like this black brown was perfect. And then, of course, I'm going to mix those two browns one more time, and I'm taking this flat definer brush. This is my favorite flat definer brush. It's from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection, and I'm going to pack those two shades super close to the lash line and then I'm gonna go back in with that super bright red and I'm taking this on a pencil brush this one I believe is from BH cosmetics I will leave it down below if it is but I'm pretty sure it is and basically all I did was just blow out that lower lash line you guys and connected it to the outer corner of the top of the lid and then I'm gonna go in with that same cream color that we used on the brow bone and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner I just want it a little bit of light there but nothing crazy and then I'm gonna be using the lash discovery Maybelline mascara this mascara is really really nice you guys I'm gonna use it for my lower lashes um, if you guys watch my video you know I prefer a super tiny brush for my lower lashes just to make sure I don't get the mascara everywhere and this actually coats every single one of them I absolutely love it it is so so amazing you guys if you guys are at like CVS or Ulta or any drugstore definitely pick it up because it's great and then of course we're gonna work on the lips so this is the Morphe sweet tea lip liner it is one of my favorites I absolutely love it I actually need a new one but it is always sold out on Morphe I'm like geez does everyone love sweet tea probably so I'm gonna go ahead and just line my lips as usual and today for liquid lipstick I decided to take it back real quick and we're gonna be using my Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in the shade Nakey Nakey. I love this liquid lipstick and I haven't been using it in the past couple videos I've posted so girl I had to whip her out because she's just beautiful. So I did go in with this. It was a beautiful color but I wanted to add a little bit of a pink tone so I am going to be going in with the Patrick Ta liquid lipstick. I can't remember the name off the top of my head so it will be down below as always. And now we can move on to the glosses. So here's what the glosses look like from the collection. And here are a few swatches just in case you guys wanted to see what they all looked like. And the color that I'm going to be using is the pink gloss in this collection. And this gloss is super beautiful, you guys. I didn't put too, too much. I just put it in the center of my lips and just blended my lips together. And it was actually really, really beautiful. I loved it. So that was basically it for the look. So this is what it looks like. And we're going to actually set everything in place one more time with the Pixie Glow Mist. This mist is actually really really nice of course i'm gonna dry it in place with my patrick ta fan and that is basically it for today's look i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching as always and of course i'll see you guys in my next video bye